Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron from Black Swamp Outdoors, and today we're going to be talking about magazines. More specifically, magazines and aftermarket magazine options for the Savage Mark II rifles, chambered in 22 long rifle or 17 Mach 2. Stick around. Alrighty guys, right here I have my Savage FVSR Mark II rifle, chambered in 22 long rifle. We'll go ahead and confirm that the rifle is clear and there's no magazine inserted. Um, I love this rifle. I'm just going to tell you right up front. They are scary accurate with the right ammunition. Uh, mine prefers subsonics and standard velocity 22 long rifle ammo. And they are very, very, very accurate with the correct ammo. But we're not here to necessarily talk about the guns. If you're watching this video, you probably want to know about the magazines. So let's move this gun off to the side and let's check the magazines out. All right, so in front of me, we have four different iterations of Savage Mark II magazines. But if you guys are watching this video, maybe you're just interested in getting a different magazine or another magazine. Or maybe you're like me and have had issues with the factory magazines from Savage and you're looking for something to uh, make that a little better. So let's just jump right into things here. This is my factory magazine that came with my Mark II. It's a five rounder, again, 22 long rifle. All these magazines are loaded for demonstration purposes because I want you guys to note something. So my magazine probably looks a little bit different than yours, or maybe it doesn't. When I got my Mark II, I shot about two magazines through it and I experienced all sorts of issues. It wouldn't feed, it, w it kept jamming, I was denting cases, I was pulling the bullets out of them, jamming them into the feed lips. I was having all sorts of issues with this factory magazine. Long and short of it, I found out that these separate. So you've got a handful of different pieces of metal that make up a factory magazine from Savage for the Mark II. You've got a side plate on each side, obviously. You've got a back plate. There's a front plate. And there's a base plate. Now inside, there's obviously going to be a spring and a follower. So what happens is these factory magazines have a tendency to come apart. There's one there, one there, one there, one, two, and three on the back. Now these are just pressed together. Those small sections there are just basically a friction fit between the side plate and the front and the rear plates that hold the magazine together. Now, after a few rounds or a few hundred or a few thousand, mine only made it about two magazines, those sometimes fall apart. So as you can see here, I used a pretty much industrial strength super glue to hold my magazine together. This is an aftermarket still made by Savage. I shouldn't say aftermarket. This didn't come with my firearm. This is a 10 round magazine by Savage for the Mark IIs. As you can see, same construction, just on a little bit bigger scale. And you can also see that I have glued this one as well. So this magazine actually didn't really work right out of the box. Um, I shot a couple, I loaded it up, I shot a couple rounds with it, and I was getting uh, failure to feed. So when I pulled the magazine out after about three rounds, all the rounds inside were loose. And again, my side plates had separated, the follower inside becomes torqued to one side or the other, and it jams up and it balls the whole works up. I even tried to go ahead and peen these over with a punch and a hammer um, and a center punch and it just doesn't, they just don't hold together. They're just not, there's just not enough metal that comes through that on these side plates to hold those together. So in comes the aftermarket options. This is a polymer magazine made by MK Machining for the Savage Mark II. You can see I've got two of them here and we'll get into that in a second. These are polymer they almost appear to be i don't know like 3d printed or something i'm not sure um i don't know why we'll get into that in a second i don't know why these aren't on mk machining's website anymore as of middle of january 2023 but they're not on there i've had mixed feelings with these magazines and our last contender in the aftermarket the cs specs steel welded 10 round magazine for the mark ii all right, so you guys already know the issues with the factory mags. We're just going to get those off right now. We're not talking about those anymore. That's why you guys are here to see these aftermarket options. So these polymer ones from MK Machine. This one was my first one that I received from MK Machine. 
They're slightly flimsy. They don't have the best feel to them, honestly. Uh, they, they go in the gun well, they release out of the gun well, but they just don't have the necessary super quality feel. One thing about the MKM mag is that very easily this base plate comes undone. And if you push that too far, which it's probably, it's locked in now with rounds in there, but without rounds in there and tension on the spring, that will slide right off and your spring shoots right out. This magazine functioned for a couple magazines full, and then I began to have issues. So I took the magazine apart and inspected it. I didn't see anything. Um, I just couldn't really figure out what was going on with this thing. Almost like it was molded, like the geometry was wrong. So I contacted MK Machining and they were nice enough to send me out another one free of charge. The only issue is this one only works about 80% of the time, but it does work better than this one. So there's two different angles. If you can see that here, it's hard to demonstrate. That's why I kept these loaded. So as you can see, it's kind of weird. Those ones push both rounds off to the side. As you can see, they're on both on the left side of the magazine while they're right in the video. But they're not double stacking. And it, like I said, almost like it's molded wrong, like something is off in there internally. On this magazine, they alternate going down the magazine. One on the right, one on the left, right, left. They alternate. Take note of the angle on this round, this lead round here. See how flat that is with the feed lips? Now, if we take that other magazine, see how proud that one sits? Most of the time, this one won't feed the first round. You have to fidget with it, and then it starts feeding, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. And like I said, this one works about 80% of the time. So overall, on the MKM mags for the Savage Mark II, it's hard to say because I have one that sort of works and one that really doesn't work very much at all. I guess they're uh, vice versa. This one doesn't really work much at all. This one sort of works. And they haven't fallen apart like the factory ones did, but they're still not quite right. That brings us to the CS Specs Steel Magazine. This particular mag is all steel. It's a nitride finish. There's round count holes at 3, 5, and 10. I put the markings on there just to be clear. As you can see, very similarly constructed to the factory Savage Magazines here. But there's one difference. And these are welded in there. They're not stamped, they're not peened, they're not pressed. These little tabs are little tiny, little tiny micro MIG or TIG welds on there, and that's what keeps this mag together. So if you paid attention to the uh, feed lip angle or the angle on those other magazines, look at how aggressive this one is. So every once in a while, if I have 10 rounds loaded in here, I only have nine in here. If I have 10 rounds loaded in here, my first one will not feed right. But after you feed the first round, the rest of the nine run great. So every style of magazine that I have here has some sort of issue with it. My factory 10 round will feed most of the time, but not all the time. My factory five round will feed all the first four all the time, every time, except the last one. You can't get it to feed the last one no matter what you try. I've got one better working and one less better working MK Machine magazine. And I've got a pretty much working C-Specs mag. Now, none of these mag options are cheap. This one maybe already came with your gun, sure. But these, these Savage mags are in my, in my area retail for around $25. The MK Machine mags, those were $32. And the C-Spec mag, is $30. So overall, I've had my fair share of issues with Savage magazines for the Mark II. It's a great rifle, it shoots great, but these are my only complaints and that's the magazine platform. The factory ones work pretty good. These ones are iffy and probably my favorite would be the C-Specs, but this dang thing is so sharp. The corners are sharp, the lips are sharp, if you get this on like a puffy jacket or maybe on the leather upholstery of your car or something, this it's gonna cut it. And that's my biggest complaint about this and sometimes not loading 10 if you have 10 in there. So I guess if I was gonna pick, if I was gonna tell you a magazine to try to buy, if you've had your fill of the Savage mags, if it was between these two, if I had to tell you, I would probably tell you to order the C-Specs mag. Now they also offer a 20 round version of this, which looks 
I mean, it's like double the length and it's just not something that I wanted to get into. The 10 round is far enough sticking out of the bottom. Um, I haven't, I can't attest for the 20 round, but I can attest for the 10 and it's a pretty good magazine. Other than there's an issue every once in a while, if you load it to 10 on not feeding that first round, but the rest always feed flawlessly. My biggest complaint with it is that it's just so aggressive. It's kind of like a AK mag or a macro, some Makarov mags are the Makarov gun itself. I mean, you just almost want to wear gloves just to hold on to the thing. It's just sharp and not very user friendly. As for the MK machine mags, their customer service was great. I really appreciate them sending another mag out to me. No questions asked. I really do appreciate that. But I just don't have flawless results with either magazine still. So all in all, if you're looking for an aftermarket magazine option for your Savage Mark II, I would recommend to you the C-Specs mag. I don't know that I would recommend the MKMs, and maybe you'll have good luck with the Savages, but who knows. Alrighty, folks, I just wanted to shed a little light on something that I've been dealing with here with Savage Mark II. Maybe some of you guys out there uh, know what it's all about. So if you do, drop that down in the comments. Maybe you found a fix to these magazines. Maybe you uh, found a fix to these or to this. Or maybe you had different experiences with the MK machining or uh, the C-Specs. Or maybe you've never had an issue at all with your Savage mags and you've got a thousand rounds through your rifle. But me and my other buddy that has a Mark II as well. Both have had similar issues with the Factory Savage magazines, and we've tested these in not only mine, but his, and it's the same issues. Well guys, thanks for checking my video out here on the Savage magazines. I hope you learned something, I hope it helped you, I hope it helped me, I hope it helped somebody. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and if you're still here, sticking around, thanks for watching. I'm Aaron from Black Swamp Outdoors, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.